Assalamu alaikum. Today the topic of our discussion is Propidogril, which is assigned to us by Professor Dr. Ghulam Jalani. Before going to the actual discussion, let's have a look on road map of today's discussion. First of all, there will be an introduction of the drug. We will study pharmacokinetics of Propidogril, that how the drug is absorbed, metabolized and eliminated from the body. We will study pharmacodynamics of Propidogril, that how drug is activated in the body, what are the receptors which are involved in its activation. We will study its dosage, uses, and side effects. We will review some brands which are selling clopidogrel. We will also examine interaction of clopidogrel with other drugs. Let's start the discussion with the introduction of clopidogrel. It is in the thionopyridine class of antiplatelets. It is used to prevent blood clots in peripheral vascular disease coronary artery disease, and cerebrovascular disease. It is a prodrug of platelet inhibitor used to reduce the risk of myocardial infarction and stroke. Let's have a look on brief history of clopidogrel. Clopidogrel was patented in 1982 and approved for medical use by US FDA in 1997. It is manufactured by Bristol Myers Squibb in collaboration with Snoopy Aventis. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. If we discuss the classification of blood thinners, there are three categories of blood thinners, antiplatelets, anticoagulants, and thrombolytics. Clopidogrel is one of five antiplatelets which has antithrombotic activity through irreversible inhibition of P2Y12 receptors on platelets. Let's have a look on pharmacokinetics of, of clopidogrel. If we talk about its absorption, a 75 milligram oral dose of clopidogrel is 50% absorbed from the intestine. If we talk about its metabolism, it is extensively metabolized. 85 to 90% of oral dose undergoes first pass metabolism in liver by hepatic enzymes to generate active metabolites. The half-life of parent drug is 6 hours and active metabolites is 30 minutes. Clopidogrel is excreted from the body through urine 50% and through feces 46%. Let's have a look on pharmacodynamics of clopidogrel. Clopidogrel is activated via a two-step reaction to an active thiol-containing metabolite. This active form is a platelet inhibitor that irreversibly binds to P2Y12 ADP receptors on platelets. This binding prevents ADP binding to P2Y12 receptors, activation of glycoprotein complex, and platelet aggregation. Here in this picture, you can see that clopidogrel is absorbed in intestine. After its absorption, it undergoes hepatic metabolism. This hepatic metabolism generates active metabolites. These active metabolites inhibit the binding of ADP, ADP with P2Y12 receptors. L long story short, less ADPs, less platelet aggregation. If we talk about the dosage of clopidogrel for the prevention of heart attack or stroke in patient with ACS, adult at first 300 milligram dose is taken as a single dose, then a maintenance dose of 75 milligram once a day. Your doctor may also give it with medicines such as aspirin as a combined therapy. Here are some uses of clopidogrel. Clopidogrel is indicated to reduce the risk of myocardial infarction for patients with non-ST elevated acute coronary syndrome, patient with ST elevated myocardial infarction, in recent myocardial infarction, stroke, prophylaxis, established peripheral atrial disease in combination therapy with aspirin, stent thrombosis, and embolism with atrial fibrillation. Here is a list of side effects which can be experienced when clopidogrel is administrated. There may be a severe abdominal pain, uncontrolled bleeding from gums or nose, bloody or black stool, fever, flu-like syndrome, diarrhea, rhinitis, neutropenia, arrhythmia, acquired hemophilia A, aplastic anemia, skin paleness, fast heartbeat, vomit with blood, vision changes, seizures, and bloody or red urine, signs of renal impairment. 
Here are some brands which are selling clopidogrel under these names. First one is Loplat, Norplat, Plavix, and Pidogrel. Here you can see our drug to drug interaction. Here is the list of some drugs in the presence of which clopidogrel has some other kind of interaction. In the presence of acetaminophen, metabolism of clopidogrel is decreased. In the presence of aspirin, Plavix potentiate the effect of aspirin. Dopamine, the CM concentration of dopamine can be increased. Omeprazole, decreased plasma concentration of clopidogrel diminish antiplatelet effect. Anacids, increased risk of bleedings. Opiate agonists, reduced absorption of clopidogrel as slowed gastric emptying. Warfarin, increased risk of bleeding. Here are some advices to the patients who are taking clopidogrel. It is informed to the patients that they may bleed more easily when taking clopidogrel. They are advised not to discontinue the therapy without consulting their prescribing clinician. And they are also advised that they should not take omeprazole while taking clopidogrel. To conclude the whole discussion, Clopidogrel is an effective antiplatelet agent used to treat and prevent a variety of thrombotic diseases. It is clinically indicated for the prevention of myocardial infarction, stroke, and transient isomic attacks in high-risk individuals. Here is a list of some references which can, which can be used to access the information about Clopidogrel. I hope this whole discussion will be beneficial to all of you who are watching us.